Digger, Kimberly Olson here, and I am really excited to do this episode of Hashtag Get Lit, where we crush your business in less than 10 minutes, because I am going to show you exactly how to get around this roadblock that Meta has thrown at us with removing API tools. So basically that, or API, so basically that means any third-party tools, Zoom, StreamYard, whatever you're using for your Facebook groups, can't actually stream into your Facebook groups unless you use Facebook itself, and it's just lame. So... I'm gonna show you this amazing workaround. Shout out to one of our amazing students, Renee. She tipped me off onto it. I did a bunch of research, watched a lot of bad videos, and I'm really excited to share with you what I figured out. We're gonna set this up in just a few minutes. Stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into your Facebook group and you're going to create an event. Now, even if you want to go live right now, I did play around with this going about it a different way and it was just stuck on one of the steps. So I thought, you know what, I've got to find an easier way. So we're going to do this. You can go ahead and just stream right then and there, but we're going to create an event just so you can see what it looks like. Create your event. We're going to call this test number four uh, because I have tested this out several times. And then I'm just going to do a little bit from now just so it's soon. Okay. So go ahead and schedule it. And ideally, if you are scheduling a live stream, you have a set day and time for it and you're like making it a thing, right? Virtual. And then now we're going to choose Facebook live. It's really the only thing that you can do now. And then you can invite your members if you want. And what are the details? So we, we are testing this out and then you can have a chat on if you want. Okay. So create event. So the first step of this is you're going to create the event. And then after you create the event, this page will automatically load to the next step where you're going to set up the live video. While you're waiting, you can go ahead and pull up your streaming software. I'm going to use StreamYard. I'm going to skip this because this is just an internal group that we have here for our team. Here's StreamYard. So this is what we're going to do. It's going to automatically create your event. You're going to click set up live video. And I'm going to walk you through a couple of steps. It's it's literally just one of the easiest things that I've been able to to do, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to come over to make sure right here, select a video source, not on webcam. That's just going to be you streaming from your from your webcam. You're going to click streaming software. This is going to allow you to use something like Stream, StreamYard, BeLive, you know, all the different things that we love. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect the video source. We're going to complete the post details and we're going to go live. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to come over to StreamYard you're going to click live stream. Now, basically what we need to do is we need to create a new destination. So the cool thing is once you set this up, you don't have to do this over and over again. So right here is the one that I just did. I'm going to set a new one up though, just for training purposes. And you're going to go to custom RTMP. Don't know what it means. You can Google it, but this is basically our like kind of pretend stream that we're creating here. So we need two things. We need the uh, RTMP server URL and the stream key. And we can get both of those here. So what you're going to do is you're going to come here right below. We were just here. Streaming software setup. We have the stream key right there. Now, what I actually want you to do is I want you to click advanced settings and I want you to toggle this on before you leave. Persistent stream key means we just want this to always be the, the stream key and the server URL that we use every time we go live in this group. So you don't have to set this up over and over again. So we're going to go ahead and copy the stream key. We're going to pop that right there where it says stream key. And then we're going to grab the server URL. Click copy and pop it right here. So they're actually kind of backwards. And then let's give it a nickname. Okay, version four. You probably don't have a server password. And then if you're using um, Restream or any of those, I think it says authentication, don't turn that on. And then click add RTMP server. So now this destination has been added and we're going to call it, give it a title. This is just internal. So test version four. And I would create that create that live stream. So if I do that, it's going to try to uh, grab my uh, camera here and it's not going to work. So we'll just keep that right there for a second. You're going to come back over here and you're going to uh, add a post description, post details. It will not work unless you do this. So the title, test version four, we are testing this out, right? And then save. Okay, so the very last part of this is to go live. Now, as you can see over in the left sidebar, connect video source is not working. What you're actually gonna do to like finish this thing off and go live, you, you'll you see this available once you do this last step. 
you're going to come into here just like normal. You're going to click create live stream. You're going to go in the studio. And when you hit the go live button in StreamYard or Restream or whatever, it's actually not streaming yet. So click go live. As soon as you do that, you're going to come over here. There might be a slight delay. How you know that it's working is your StreamYard video, like you would see me right now, will show up right here. When it shows up right here, this right here in the top left corner, connect video source will be toggled on and you're all set to go. So when you click go live right here, then it's going to stream in your Facebook group. There won't be, you won't, you won't have missed out or anything like that. It's basically um, just going to, you're just going to do it like back to back basically. And then when you're done, you want to hit uh, end live first right here in the studio and while it's happening, there's actually statistics and analytics in the back, which is kind of cool. So you're going to end the go live here when you're done, and then you're going to end it here. And the final thing I want to mention with this is that you actually, the one thing that you won't get from this that you normally do are the comments will not show up. So they're still happening, but you won't see them in StreamYard like you normally do. So what you want to do is if you're using your webcam is have your phone on silent pull up your Facebook group so you can see the comments there and kind of interact with your audience. So as you can see, this is super easy to use. I do have a whole video on how to use StreamYard if you've not used it. I'm a huge fan of it because you can brand it. It's really great for interviews. There's just so many amazing things that you can do with it. It just goes to show it's so important to make sure that you are following people who stay on top of this stuff who will do the research to teach you in a really easy way to get started. So this is one of those tutorials where you probably have to watch it pull it up, pause, do the steps, and keep going. So just come back and watch this again. If you have any questions, let me know. If this was helpful, do me a huge favor and su subscribe. It's the best compliment you can give me. And a screenshot of you watching this, throw it in, in your stories and tag me at the Gold Digger Girl. I would love to give you a shout out. Share this with a friend. If you know anyone who's on social media, it can probably really help them out. So thank you for watching. Until next time, get lit your business and set your soul on fire. We'll see you soon.